Alright guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Gracie's World. Welcome back guys, you're welcome to another Eating Book Bank video just for you guys. And today, what are we eating Chef Daddy? We're having wheat fufu and eforiro yes vegetable eforiro yeah those vegetable eforiro yeah go ahead you are wasting time food is getting cold as always food is getting cold so you're welcome back to another eating mukbang video just as we said to all subscribers thank you so much and to the new viewers and the new subscribers we see you and we say thank you and we love you let us pray father in the mighty name of jesus father we thank you for this food father we thank you for your provision father we pray for our subscribers and we pray for our viewers that you bless them and father we pray for our subscriber in america father we thank you for the healing of her grandson and father we thank you for the testimonies that are to come in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed amen so guys time to wash our hands and i've just finished cooking this eforiro soup and i thought it a wise one to invite you guys to come and eat with us chef that takes so long to wash his hands and he's the one saying food is getting cold and as always i am drinking water what are you drinking chef daddy water and what's the slogan water is guys this is for you no that's not the slogan you are wasting time what is this, the slogan this is for you water is life yes water is life cheers mm. Let's tuck in together. This is so good vegetable soup, also known as eforiro, and it is very quick to make. First bite is for you. Mm. And you know when you make eforiro, it needs to be spicy because you're using just vegetables, you see. Mm. Hmm. What do you think, Chef Dan? I don't know. What's the taste like? Mm. Tasting very sweet. Yeah. Sweet because I put Maggie in it. You have to add some seasoning, don't you? Not that kind of sweet. What do you mean by that? This is so good. It's tasting sweet as sin. Mm. Honey, I don't know. Hey, exactly. Is that's the way it's supposed to taste. What do you mean? That's the way? Do you mm. use honey to cook? Tasting honey here, you're telling me yeah, exactly. No, you mean tasting sweet? No. You know what I'm talking about? I think you're not hungry. You know when Chef Danny starts off on this note, especially when I'm hungry, I just don't want to even answer because I don't know where he's going with this drama. When he's not hungry, then he comes off with something to say. Mm. This is so good. Mm. You enjoy it? I think I taste honey. Yeah, it is sweet because I use a lot of seasoning. This is not good to do with seasoning. I know how to cook, so it is the difference between honey and seasoning. I don't know where you're coming from with honey. Do they use honey to cook? I should be asking you. What kind of question is that? Uh, I should be asking one? you. Stop. Just sit down and say they is tasting honey. How can you taste honey? After you have agreed that you said yes. No, I said it's tasting sweet. 
because of the seasoning. Keep your hand to yourself when you're standing. You started again. You started crossing the boundary. Keep your hand to yourself. This is my right hand. There's no way I'm going to eat without moving this arm. Guys, I'm sorry about this drama. Chef Daddy has started again. I've told you before, I think we need to share this table. And just as somebody suggested, I think you need to be sitting on this side. And see if there'll be any difference. So you should be appreciating my food. You're talking about hand being in the way. The food tasting of honey. If you're joking, please stop. If I don't know how to cook, it's a different thing. That's not the point. You understand me? No, that's so not the point. I should, I should, I should keep quiet. I should keep quiet when I'm tasting honey. Damn! Have I ever used honey to cook? I don't know for you. What kind of drama is that one? Please, if you don't have anything to say, don't even just say anything. Just eat. Of course, do I have a choice? That's what I'm eating. Don't eat. Just drink water. This is the first time I'm cooking it for Ruro that I will use honey. No, Where no. have you seen that they use honey to cook? I should be asking you. You're not even talking of the fact that I made maybe honey chicken or something. Honey barbecue chicken. This is African soup. They are saying they put honey inside. How can I put honey? It's tasting honey. Guys, I'm so sorry. You can rant Honestly. for all I care, but I have got to see what I have got to see. And that is that what? It's tasting like you added honey here. Please don't eat. Leave it. This is tasting honey. Carry yourself. Leave you it. think I'm bothered? Tasting honey. Every time you keep looking for one, one, one excuse. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? I cannot air my views again. Because of that is tasting honey. I don't want to know. I have told you what I felt about the soup. Can you imagine that? I don't blame you. you can blame yourself. Don't blame me. How, how long did it take me to stay in the kitchen to Is that the point? That's part of the point. Uh, and all I get as a thank you that this food is so good is it's tasting honey. It is like that since it's tasting honey. Carry it now, carry it. Tasting honey. Can you imagine? I think you should take those words back. Sorry, I cannot, because I have told you what I felt about the soup. I cannot hear my views again. If it's a joke, please stop. Because I'm not finding it. Oh, funny. you think I'm joking? Sat down to cook for the family oh. and then all the time he's tasting honey. Sat down to cook. You stand up to cook before. Anyway, let me not just say anything. All I can say is, guys, I am so sorry. Forgive Chef Daddy's utterances. Forgive yourself. Because I don't cook when you eat. Sat down to cook. You stand up to cook. Well, I, I, I don't cook and you eat. It's just making me laugh. It sounds so hilarious. Because <coughs> you sat down to cook or you, st you stood up to cook, then I should not I, I, I should not air my opinion about how I felt about the soup. Wait, are you serious or you're joking? No, I'm joking. I think I'm you joking. are. Yes, I really think I'm you joking. are. Please eat your food. Stop looking for an excuse. No, you brought it back. You would have taken it now. Just because you don't want to admit. I did this honey, I did this honey, I should keep quiet. You don't want to admit how delicious the food is. Mm. Then it's presented that it's tasting honey. Just mm. admit. Admit what? As you're the only one eating it. Why is my own not tasting honey? Do I know for you? Why is my own not tasting honey? Do I know for you? Maybe you added honey to my own. I think you see. He has started. <coughs> Guys.
guys, she has, she has started according to her. That's how the last time she added so much of pepper to my food. I caught up with her and I added salt to hers. Today I'm not around now. I just came in. Come and eat. I'm feeling honey. Eating honey from this now. You're telling me I should not complain. Why is it only your own that is tasting honey? Mm -hmm. Maybe one of those are your mischief again. If it's a joke, please stop. Just eat your food, please. Eat your food. I beg you. I don't have the strength or energy mm. for your trouble. I have it in abundance. I can see that. Mm. I can really see that. I have it in abundance. Even your viewers can see that you have the energy. Of course. If it's a joke, please stop. Because this is very embarrassing. Oh. I should not say what I felt about this whole thing. A whole African woman cannot cook. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Is that what you're trying to say? The African woman. In fact, when have I ever cooked soup with honey in it? When? Maybe you are just starting that. Hey, I have really, really suffered. Maybe that's your idea of making it sweet. I don't know. If it's a joke, I beg you, all this is a if joke. it's a joke, I'm telling you something for real. You're telling me if it's a joke, it's a joke. What joke? <laughs> Am I joking? Please, our family. You are here, you are a witness. As long as you have been part of Grace's world, have you ever seen or heard where I have put honey in the soup? Please, if you have, leave it in the comment section. Because this is totally unacceptable what Chef Daddy is saying, and it is absolutely embarrassing on my part. See, you are even you are even asking a wrong question because it's me who is here who can taste it. Okay, please tell he them. He who feels it knows it. You are asking the wrong question. Okay, please tell them. When I have ever cooked honey soup for you, please tell them. You can now answer. Please tell them. Did you add pepper to my food or not? When? Uh, oh, it has turned from honey to pepper. I don't understand. No, before now, when I now revenge with giving you so much of salt. Is that the issue where uh, we are addressing now? So how do I trust you? you? Have not used honey into my own. No, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop! stop I beg stop. you. No, stop. I'm joking. I'm laughing. Mm. I, am please, I, am I am crying. I am crying. Don't don't stress it or, uh, or, or push it. I'm crying. Or is it called stretch it? I'm crying. Are you trying to ridicule me publicly or what? When you speak your grammar finish, I still maintain that there's only in this soup. If I knew that this was your plan, I wouldn't have even bothered cooking it for Riro. Why do you always like doing this? Oh. Why? What's your gain in this? I'm just experiencing hey, this for the first time. I have suffered. I don't know that they now use honey to cook soup. I have really suffered. <clears throat> Maybe at the end of the day, I'm going to visit the toilet. When I have tea, I drink, I don't know. When I have cake, they want to cook, I don't know. Hey, you put honey for soup. Maybe you want to impress me that, oh, it's sweet. Rubbish.
-hmm. Can you imagine? And he's still saying it with all emphasis. Maybe you thought I was joking. I think you should take those words back. Because that's not nice at all. Guys, I've said it and I'll say it again. Can't keep myself in the pretend. And you are still eating the food, even though it's tasting of honey. You pushed it away. I left you. And you managed to bring it back. And then, what happened after that? I should leave it. I don't have a choice, I'm hungry. You have a, a choice, you can drink water. Water is life. As far as you've got water, you will survive. You don't have to eat. I must say I enjoyed my Eferiro. It's absolutely delicious. Spicy as well. I don't know where he's coming from with him having honey in his food. <coughs> it's the honey that is making you cough as well. Why are you bothered? I did you say you did not put honey. So did why I put honey in the first place? So why are you bothered? I'm not bothered. No. Why should I be bothered? I have really suffered, honestly. <clears throat> Guys, I enjoyed the Ferrero cooked with honey. She's just ranting, but I still maintain I had honey in my own plate. Well, I enjoyed it because I have no choice. Eating a forero with or uh, a forero cooked with honey, so to say. Can you stop that statement? A forero cooked with honey, I still maintain it. No apologies. You better stop. No apologies. A forero cooked with honey, or she put honey in my own plate. Did you see me? Were you not here I when can, I was dishing the I food? can taste honey because my taste buds are not that bad. But did you see me? That's what I say. Did you, you see you me? Use honey in did my you see own me? plate. I don't understand. I have no choice. Why did you not taste my own? Well, why do I have to do that? So that you are no. convinced that it's the same. No. Why did you not taste my own to know if there was honey or not? Uh, it's, it's late. Not, it's not late. It's late. Why is it late? It's late. Why is it late? It's late because you have been pranked. Thank you. You can prank me every time. She's been pranked. She cooks with honey. What's bringing this kind of joke? You brought me out to disgrace me publicly, embarrass me publicly, telling them that I, I cooked with honey. Now you're saying it's a prank. What kind of prank is that one? Is this the first time I'm cooking a Ferrero? Talk to the hands because you have been pranked. Okay. I know what to do. No problem. I know exactly what to do. I will not say anything. You brought me out to humiliate me. Talk to the hands. Can you see what he did to me? Talk to the hands. The ears aren't listening. Oh, really? Okay. This same talk to the hands English, you will speak it when I come back for you. Honey, honey, honey. For real. Guys, you saw him. After I spent how many hours in the kitchen? I woke up pretty early to prepare this for lunch. And the thank you I will get to say all oh, this Eforio was delicious is you put honey in the, in the soup. Meanwhile, he was still standing his ground that he can taste honey.
Guys, as usual, she has been pranked. Food was delicious. Don't mind my outburst. You should expect that. But honestly, it just tastes like honey. And you're still saying it. So if you have been watching till now, always give your thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and make sure the video goes viral. Come to think of it, have you ever heard we are there for a scooped with honey? You are the one who said it's cooked with honey. Is it not you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe try it. You never can say. It could be a new recipe. No, oh, really? Yeah. It could be a new recipe. You will be the first one to try to cook that. Yeah, Chef Daddy. New recipe. If we really cook with honey. Yeah, you will be the one. So, until then, guys. What Thank you, you so much say? for watching, guys. I have no comments. But be rest assured. Team Gracie will be back with a revenge. You know we never give up. So expect that revenge in a big way on this prank that Chef Daddy has pulled off and he thinks that he is winning. No problems. But thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and you have watched until this particular time, please press on that red subscribe button and turn on your notification bell on to all so that you will be the very first to know once we drop a new video. And don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And, and try the new recipe of honey and a forero. What? Stop. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. And stay blessed. Bye. Bye.